हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर यूट्यूब वीडियो दिस इज सिक्स्थ वीडियो ऑफ ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस डेवलपमेंट और जी डेवलपमेंट इन पाइथन विथ इंटर लाइब्रेरी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन अबाउट द एंट्री विजिट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द जियोमेट्रिक मैनेजर्स वी नो दैट वी हैव अ थ्री टाइप ऑफ जियोमेट्रिक मैनेजर फर्स्ट वन इज पैक सेकेंड वन इज प्लेस एंड थर्ड वन इज ग्रीड ओके टिल नाउ वी हैव यूज पैक जियोमेट्री मैनेजर ओके so let me just run our code and now you can see that in last video we have created this entry widget okay so in last video we have created this entry widget with the help of pack geometry manager okay in this video we are going to learn about place geometry manager and we are going to learn about the grid geometry manager okay so first of all i am going to erase all this code and i am going to create one label so let's say my lab one is equal to label widget and inside that label widget i am going to set root that is our window okay and let's say here i am going to pass text as a place geometry manager so first of all here we are going to use a place geometry manager okay so let's say place geometry manager now if i do sim if i use simply my lab one dot pack okay so you can see that we are getting this text that is a place geometry manager on us on a center of our gui okay so we are getting this text on a center of our gui because we have used here pack geometry manager so let's say here i am going to use place so basically whenever you use place geometry manager that time you have to pass a coordinates of let's say x coordinates and y coordinates in your in your as a parameter so let's say here i am going to set x coordinates is equal to 100 and y coordinates is equal to let's say 120 okay now i am going to run this code so now you can see that we are getting our label on x is equal to 100 coordinates and y is equal to 120 coordinates okay so one problem in our place geometry manager is that you have to pass coordinates okay so let's say here i'm going to set 150 and let's say 380 okay so you can see that we have every time we have to pass uh, coordinates okay x coordinate and y coordinate that is one of the Because this advantage of place geometry manager, in pack you don't need to pass anything. Okay, it will automatically set. Okay, so let's talk about the grid geometry manager. Okay, so first of all, I am going to erase this. Now I am going to create some kind of you can call it as a login page. Okay, so let's say we are going to create a login page. With help of a grid geometry manager. So let's say my lab one. So that is our one variable, and inside that I am going to create one label. That is our label widget, and after that I am going to set root. That is our master, or we can call it as a window, root window. Okay. The second attribute that we are going to pass is text. Okay, so. here i am going to set text as a username okay so here we are going to create a login page okay some kind of a login page that's why i am going to set text is equal to username let's create another variable my lab2 and inside that i am going to set another attribute another label widget okay so label and parameter will be root okay and here i am going to set text as a password password okay now i am going to set this my label 1 and my label 2 with help of a pack okay so let's say my lab 1 dot pack and my lab 2 dot pack okay so my lab 2 dot pack so we can see that we are getting this username and password label on a center of our gui 
So let's use grid geometry in it. So I am going to just say grid. Okay, grid. I am going to just pass grid instead of place or a pack. Okay. So whenever you use a grid geometry manager, that time you have to pass uh, rows and columns. Okay, so grid system is all about rows and columns. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to say row is equal to zero. That means I want to set this on a top of the window. Okay. So let's say row is equal to zero and column is equal to zero. Okay. So that means it will be a top of the window. Okay. Top left side of the window. Now I am going to set my left two dot grid is equal to row is equal to one. So now I am going to increase row. So row zero, row one. Okay, row zero, row one, row three. We all know that in computer science everything start from zero. Okay, so we have to set row zero. That means first. Row one. That means second. So row one and column will be zero. Okay. Now I am going to run this code. So you can see that we are getting our username and password label on a left, okay, left side, top left side. Okay. So let's say here we are going to create another two entry widgets. So let's say I am going to say my entry, my entry is equal to entry, and inside that I am going to say root and okay so here we are going to just place a root okay and my entry 2 okay so here i am going to say my entry 1 and my entry 2 so root now i am going to set this my entry 1 and my entry 2 with grid geometry manager so let's say i am going to say my entry 1 dot grid okay now i am going to say row is equal to 0 that means first and column is equal to 1 that means i want to i want to set after after this okay row 0 and row 1 okay column 0 1 2 3 okay so let's say row 0 column 1 is column is equal to 1 and my entry 2 dot grid row is equal to 1 and column is equal to 1 now I am going to run this code now you can see we are getting a uh, some kind of a login page uh, page like a login page okay so I can write here anything okay here I can write anything so with help of pack or place you can not do you cannot do all these things like this okay so whenever you have to create a login page you can call it as a calculator or anything like that that time you have to use a grid geometry manager okay so grid geometry manager is one of the great now another thing is that you don't need to do like this my label one dot grid you can simply say okay so you can simply cut this here and you can set here okay you don't need to do like this. So let's say, okay. So you can simply write after the label menu, okay. Label widget. So you can simply say, and we can simply write like this. Now I'm going to erase this because now we don't need this. Okay. So that is our pack place and grid. Okay. I hope that all of you understand that what is a place, what is a pack, and what is a grid. Okay. So whenever you create any type of calculator, login system, any kind of system like that, I I did, I must say that you have to use grid geometry manager. That because grid geometry manager is one of the easiest one. Okay. Row 
rows and column system is little bit harder to understand but you try i am sure that you can easily understand okay so guys that's it for this video if you have any if you have any question about the uh, if you have any question about the grid if you have any question about the pack place you can just ask me in comment section below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel thanks for watching this video